In this video, I will show you how to set up OPC Experts Simulation Server. To begin, notice I have OPC Expert.exe in my folder, and it's just OPC Expert. There's actually nothing to install, such that when I start it, you can see it uh, actually extracts all the files it needs. In any case, we'll get back. Uh, we'll get back here right away. First thing you need to do is go Tools, Options, and there are a couple of options you need to set. Number one, we need to enable Excel features so that we can show this PLC simulation within Excel. The next thing we need to do is to go to OPC Servers and to enable Simulation Server. I'll also set it up to run as a service and to enable OPC DA server, you don't, I'll click OK, you don't actually need to have these two set up, but in case you do want it to run as a, uh, as a DA server, it will work that way. Okay, so I've set it up. Now I'll open up my computer. So there we go. And you can see I have a whole bunch of OPC servers here. This is OPC expert simulation server. That's the DA portion. And you can see when I start it, here's a simulation device, PLC, so I can access it via OPC DA, or I can also access it via OPC UA. There's a server, simulation device. It's the same thing. It really doesn't matter which way you go. Um, I'll just subscribe to all the items, drag and drop. So here we go. So you can see these are the values. Okay, so now we have a ready-made, uh, macro-enabled Excel spreadsheet. You'll find that back in OPC Experts folder, which um, in any case, you could get to Expert Resources, and it's over here. It's called PLC. There we go, PLC.xlsm. So I will run it. Drag, drop on Excel. Here we go. And the first thing I need to do is enable content because this is a macro-enabled Excel spreadsheet. So there we go. I enabled it. And I'll just expand Excel here. And you can see that we are connecting. This still says connecting to OPC server there. So it's connected, and now we have everything. So I'll show you first how this works. So this is what it should look like. Uh, if I click this button, number one, you can see it's on. Black is off. Now it's on, off, on, off. So off, I mean on, and now it's off, and this one is off. Here we have a value I can move, and you can see right over here is where the value is even trended. Now, the trending doesn't actually come from OPC Expert. It comes from Excel. Excel is actually trending it. You can see the trend over here. And here's a second trend. You can see these values are changing. If I move this back and forth, you can see, although this I didn't hook it up to the trend, you can see that the values are changing over here. So you have all of the source code for this, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so you do have all the source code. If we move down here, you can see some controls for this. So I can make this, instead of 500 milliseconds, I can make it 100 milliseconds, enter. You can see OPC Expert automatically resubscribes to everything. At 100 milliseconds, there it goes. It's all finished. And when I move this, you can see that the updates are much, much faster. Or I can slow it down to one second. And you'll, you have the source code for all of this included in here. This is what was actually written. So there we go. Um, so you can see that this is much, much, much slower. 
if you look down here again, you can see exactly what was written. But OPC Expert only shows the updates as fast as once a second because that's what we showed here. Writing, of course, is faster. If I click false, there you see false, false. This is button eight is true. Now it's false. So that's the simulation PLC. Now, what we're going to do is take a look also at OPC Expert so we can see the data. So there we go. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And what we can see, if you focus, for example, on instrument, oh, let's take a look at flow right here. So you can see that flow is actually changing. That's this one right here. And you can see the latest value is over here. They see an OPC expert. It's only updating as fast as once a second. And that's because all the data here is subscribed at one second. But if I select everything, right click, more, change update rate. And if I change this to say once every 100 milliseconds, okay. So there is the value. So we'll focus here on flow again. And when I move, you can see that the data updates much, 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 much faster. Now, all of this is in Excel, and you can get access to it from here. Developer, if I click on View Code, you can also click on Alt F11. There is the actual code. If you have all of this, this is all included for you in that Excel spreadsheet. Uh, in the in the macro enabled Excel spreadsheet. So there it is. So there is the code. You notice it's actually very, very little code. It's mostly comments. So there we go. So you can see exactly how we read and write data using um, using Excel. Uh, so you have all of the source code for, for this. You can see how objects are done, when updates are done, all of those. And if you have any questions for us, please give us a shout at uh, opcexpert.com. Uh, okay, so there, this is the source code. So again, to get in there, developer view code. So that's available for you. And all of these, all of these are actually Excel. These are all from Excel. Uh, there's nothing special here that I in installed. Now, if I, you can see it says, tell me a story. If I double click it and I'll say, I love OPC and I write, there's a write, and it changes here as well. So it's a simulation PLC. You can use it for testing. I can also actually use this to start generating a signal. Watch flow here. I will write to it, and this time, uh, actually, first of all, so we're going to write over here. And right now it's 22,000. And I'll write 5,000. Right. And sure enough, it goes to 5,000. So I can change this to 10,000. Right. And now it goes to 10,000. You can see uh, my value over here goes to 10,000 as well. But I can also do a signal generator. I'll do a sine wave. I'll do a ramp. Um, a ramp um, from this one goes from zero to let's go to 20,000 and the update rate will make it every 100 milliseconds and we'll do it uh, time based so uh, we'll do a full cycle every 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds create calculation there's the calculation you can see it's updating You can see the value over here. And sure enough, in Excel, we see the same thing. We see the values. And what's very cool in Excel is look at this. There is a trend, and you can actually see it uh, changing. Now, remember, it's changing every 1,000 milliseconds, or 100 milliseconds, sorry. If I go every 100, it'll actually be quite a bit faster. 
So you can see this is quite a bit faster over here. It's updating, Excel is updating every 100 milliseconds, um, or I'll make it 500. So you've got full control and um, you can connect to a UA server and uh, do whatever do whatever it is you want. Uh, so you've got full you've got full control over this. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy the PLC and uh, download. Uh, uh, have a look at OPC Expert. Play around with it. If you've got questions, let us know and uh, we will give you a hand. Thanks again, everybody. Bye bye.